Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Remember the old days of tracking data for your microbit project? Staring at your pocket watch, watching the seconds tick by, and then writing down the data with your quill, only to have to do it again repeatedly for the entire day? Well, we're releasing a few new boards to help ease your suffering. This week, we've got three new accessory boards for your microbit. We've got the SparkFun Gator RTC, the SparkFun Gator Log, and the SparkFun Gator UV. With an onboard Atmega 328P microcontroller, the Gator Log can easily handle incoming data and store it on a microSD card. It also handles all of the file directory and organization functions and can easily be programmed using make code for microbit. The hookup guide will walk you through everything you need to know to get going. One super important thing to note is that the Gator Log will not function properly when used with the original Gator Bit. Users should use the updated GatorBit V2 with the Gator Log for proper operation. Now here's where things get interesting. By using the Gator RTC in conjunction with the Gator Log, you can eliminate the need to stare at your watch and your project all day. The Gator RTC is a real-time clock, and when used with the Gator Log, allows you to track seconds, minutes, hours, weekdays, date, month, and even year, and record that, along with any other readings you're taking, to the microSD card you've supplied with your Gator Log. At its core is an RV3028 real-time clock module from MicroCrystal using the convenient I2C bus. It has four pads for power and data and a built-in rechargeable 3.3 volt lithium coin cell battery. It is extremely low power, running at about 40 to 60 nanoamps at three volts. Of course, to record sensor data, we need a sensor. So we've got the SparkFun Gator UV. The SparkFun Gator UV accessory board is an ultraviolet sensing solution created to interface with the microbit as easily as possible. It's designed around the VEML 6070, an advanced UV light sensor that communicates over I2C, incorporating a photodiode, amplifiers, and analog and digital circuits all into a single chip. It has dual spectrum ranges of measurement and converts the ultraviolet light intensity to digital data, making it easy to read and use. The idea behind the microbit is to get projects up and running quickly and easily. Having to watch and write down data can slow that down tremendously, but if you can automate that task, it will allow the student or the maker to move on with their project. With the SparkFun Gator UV, the SparkFun Gator Log, and the SparkFun Gator RTC, you can leave the tedium to the microbit and keep the excitement rolling. You can pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and find all the hookup guides there as well. Happy data recording and happy hacking, friends. This week we've got three new accessory boards, but being a, uh, tracking data for your gator bit, micro bit project <laughs> can slow that down tremendously. Yes, it can. That's the best thing I'm going to do all day. <laughs> Downhill from here. Gator RTC, you can mm, to move on with their project with the SparkFun. <laughs>